If you're a local business, you obviously need local customers. Well, I've got a really underused and under the radar way of reaching those customers for just about a penny each. And it's really easy to get started. You just need a great offer and I'll help you with all the rest. You'll have everything you need to get your campaign started today and up to 25,000 new potential customers by the end of the week. And I'm gonna walk you through it step by step. Now, I don't know about you, but I love getting in on the ground floor with these newer ways of advertising because there's so much opportunity for a lot less money. You know, I want you to think of uh, Facebook or Google ads when they were brand new. They were pretty much dirt cheap. Well, times have changed. They're not that cheap anymore. So that's why I love this method for many small businesses and especially for my local businesses out there. So what exactly am I going to show you? Well, what if you could have your own 30 second basically a radio ad for your business that people could not skip and included a link right to your website on their mobile device. And you could choose to play it only for people as close to you as you want to reach. It's totally possible. And I've done it with some really good results. And the way we're going to do this is by using the relatively newish uh, Spotify ad studio, which lets you either record a 30 second spot yourself, or even easier, you just upload a script and their professional voiceover talent will record it for you. So even if you've never thought about using essentially radio ads before, or if you're not a local business, stick with me here because Spotify ads can probably still work for you. So why do I love Spotify ads for local business? It's really simple. It's because you can easily target a local area, you know, from a state to a city, uh, a few cities down to a specific zip code or even a set of zip codes. But even if you aren't a local business, this can still work for you too. If you can easily niche your customers down by any combination of age, gender, geography, and then these fairly broad buckets of interests such as business, parenting, travel, things like that. So before we get to the step by step, let's talk about what you need to have prepared. So first, you ideally want to think of a specific offer that you can talk about. You know, you can just use a more general awareness style ad like, hey, here we are. But it really helps to get people through the door one time. So the best way to do that is to give something for free or at a really good special price. And stats do show that if you can get a customer in the door once, a really large percentage of them are going to come back repeatedly. So what can you give away for free one time to get that repeat business? A free dessert, a free strategy, non-sales call. Just think of something that fits your business and you're good to go. And then next, you need a script that comes right in at 30 seconds. And that usually means about 70 to 80 words. But keep in mind, they do limit you to 70. I'll show you a little way to get around that in a bit. And here's what you want to hit in that script. The name of your business, the problem you're solving or the transformation you're promising them, a few of your top benefits that you can offer, and finally a call to action for them to tap their screen to redeem your offer or to at least learn more about it. And next you need a graphic that's exactly 640 pixels square that helps sell your offer visually. So I like to include an eye-catching background image, your logo, and your special offer spelled out as simply as possible using as few words as possible. And you can use a free online image editor called Canva to make this in just a few minutes. So now you know what you need. Let's jump over to the computer and create an actual ad in real time. Here we go. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is go to adstudio.spotify.com and here's where it's going to ask you to sign up. So just click that button and go through the, the short process and I've already signed up so I'm just going to meet you on the inside dashboard. Okay, so here we are in the dashboard area and as you can see I've got an ad that I ran a while back where I spent 250 bucks and I got 13, almost 14,000 ads served reaching almost 12,000 people. So that's a pretty great return on ad spend. And keep in mind, these are 30 second spots that they cannot even skip. So your message is definitely gonna be heard by a lot of people for that price. So anyway, the first thing you're gonna do is go on uh, create ad. And now here they're gonna ask you what you're promoting. So a lot of Spotify ads are actually made for uh, bands to promote themselves or selling their merchandise, that kind of thing. But we're gonna do it differently. 
because we're not doing this for music, we're doing this for business, right? So click on non-music related brand, product, or organization, then just give it a name. I would just name it your business. And we're gonna make this for a vet uh, in my neighborhood right here. So Wrigleyville Vet, uh, just go ahead and click on next. Now here's where we're gonna put in our uh, start and end date and our budget. So uh, the thing about this, Spotify ads are a bit different than Facebook ads in that you can't just set a daily budget and have it run indefinitely. You have to set the start and the end. So what I like to do is do one week. And I would usually do it starting the following day. So I'll just click on uh, the 26th and I'll have it end on the first, so it's already got it's already got it set up for a week, and then so here's where we put in our budget. They've got some choices here for you, but you can put in a custom amount. But keep in mind, 250 is the minimum. So I'm just gonna go with the minimum there, 250. And then the first thing you need to do is choose your uh, country. So in this case, we'll just do United States of America and location. So. Since this video is primarily made for you local businesses out there, um, what you would probably want to do is think of how local realistically, like how far away are people realistically going to come from? So, you know, would they be willing to drive uh, 10 miles, 20 miles? Don't go too much further than that unless you're really specialty because, you know, people are not likely to drive over 20 miles for a restaurant or anything like that. Or th keep in mind too, maybe you don't have a, a brick and mortar business. Maybe you travel out to people or maybe you just work remotely. So just put in, you can put in either a city or a zip code or several cities and several zip codes. So in my case, I'm just going to put in the zip code that, um, that this vet is actually located in and then choosing ages. So obviously I'm not gonna be talking to 13 year olds for a vet. I'm probably gonna be targeting anyone 25 or older. And gender, I'm just gonna leave that wide open. But maybe for your business, you know, uh, you get much more male clientele or female clientele. And I'm not gonna mess with this. This basically just uh, de will deliver your message on uh, various devices. So you can specify only on desktop or only on uh, iPhones or only on Android. So I'm going to leave it open. And then so interests, here's something interesting. So uh, there's all these really wide open interests. There, it's not like Facebook. You can't get super granular. And the way they under they know if someone's into business or into fitness or health and lifestyle is based on what they listen to on Spotify. So if they listen to a business podcast, they would get tagged with that. If they listen to uh, maybe a health and lifestyle podcast, they'd get that. If they listen to a fitness playlist, that's another thing that can happen. So if you can really put your customers into one of these buckets and you're pretty confident about that, go for it. But I say if you're a local business, you probably just want to keep it a little more wide open and just have it based on, you know, gender, age, and area and zip code. So uh, let's take a look at this now just for a reality check. So we've put in one zip code and we've left it open to all this, you know, age and uh, both genders. What we've got here is 250 bucks will get us every ad heard for just over one cent, 1.3 cents to be exact. And we're likely to hit 18 to 19,000 ads served uh, with 12 to 14,000 people being reached, meaning if some of those people are gonna hear your ad more than once, which is actually perfect. So let's keep going down the page here. And I'm just gonna um, click on no additional targeting. I'm not gonna go for any of those interests. And then we'll click on next. Now here's where you've got another choice. You can either upload a script that uh, a voiceover artist is going to read for you, or you can, if you want, you can upload your own audio track. You can record it yourself, but if you do that, you have to make sure it's high quality enough and you have to make sure it comes in at exactly 30 seconds. So that can be tricky. I don't even recommend doing that unless you're more of a personal brand and people know who you are specifically. So if you do that, you just upload the track, but I'm gonna do it uh, with a create from scratch. So what we're gonna do is we're going to, uh, first of all, it's gonna ask you to choose a background track. So there are lots of different um, places you can find mu uh, free and royalty-free music online. I like this one, it's called bensound.com. So basically what I wanted to do is I just wanted to find a really kind of uh, fun, cute, bouncy kind of music to go behind the ad, being it for a, a vet. So you can just search, and I'll just search on like 
bouncy and fun and see what pops up. And I found this one, Smile, that I think I like. So yeah, I think that's gonna work out fine. So I'm, I would just download that, which I already have, and you're just gonna upload it. So just drag the file right there, click Done. So here's where you're going to paste in your script, and it's actually really important that it comes out to exactly, or not exactly, but up to 70 words. So let's find my script here. So what I've done here, because I've done this before, and I, re I realized when I did 70 words, there was about three, about three to five seconds at the end that was still unused, and the music just continued to play. So what I did here, I kind of got a little crafty and it was a little long. So what I did is I started adding hyphens in between some words and I eliminated some words and that just made it, I got it down to exactly 70 words. So I'm just gonna copy that and we'll paste it right in there and we're right at 70, perfect. And as you can see, we've hit on all the, the parts that I talked about uh, earlier in this video. Talk, talked about the benefits, talked about the offer, and a call to action. So I say I tell people to tap your screen, and then I tell them to tap again right here. So you want to do that. Ideally speaking, you'd want to have that a little earlier in there, um, if you possibly can, just because you don't want to give people, uh, you, you don't want to give them that call to action right at the very end, where they have to scramble to click before your ad disappears. So make sure you do it once around the middle, and then do it once again toward the end. And here's where we choose our voiceover. So if you have someone reading it, they've got um, actual talent doing it. It's not robots or anything like that. So you would obviously just choose your language. And here's where you can choose your voice profile. So you can choose a male or female and then the age range as well. So I think in this case, I'd probably go with a female young adult, which would be you know around 20s or 30s. I think that would be perfect for this. And here you can type in any kind of notes you have for them. like to sound excited about it or to sound kind of serious and somber about it if that's your if that's what you're going for and you can even tell them how to pronounce certain words if something is not immediately apparent tell them how to pronounce it and here is where we're going to add the image and the button because remember it's not just audio it's got the the graphic on the screen so i've designed a nice little graphic to go with it so we're just going to click on upload here oh wait it actually requires you to uh to give them a direction. So let's just go with something like, I just told her to make sure she sounds friendly and happy, and then I think that's good enough. And I'm just gonna click on upload a file. So I found our file here. So I'll just zoom in on this a little bit. It's just basically a yellow background with a dog, the logo, and a really short version of the offer right here. It's important that it's not overly complicated. It's just get a free day, and that is it. So. Zoom back out and then call to action button. You can choose here, uh, you can say learn more. I might say get coupon in this case. You could say visit site, whatever you wanna do. I'll just say get coupon and then click through URL. So here's where you would put the URL to where you're going to click through to. Um, I recommend it not just be your homepage, I recommend it being a, a specific landing page relevant to the offer itself. So they're not just gonna go for general info, they're gonna to go to that page and learn how to redeem whatever it is you are promising. So I'll do wrigleyvillevet.com slash free day, and then just click on next. And here's where it's gonna ask you to put in your billing information, I already have mine here. And you're just gonna click these boxes right here, and you're just gonna click on complete order. Then the first thing that's gonna happen is you'll, you'll get an email after a few hours. I got mine really quickly with the voiceover uh, returned to me, so you'll, you'll listen to that, you'll approve it. Once that's approved, now you're free and clear to go live with your ad. Now I have five more local business marketing strategies that I really wanna show you. So these are all really easy to pull off and are proven to work for just about any local business. Yes, even yours. So click right here to watch that video and I'll see you there.